Welcome to ITU's headquarters for WISIS Forum 2019, where the key theme this year is using ICTs to deliver the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. And we are talking today about the role of new technologies to help alleviate the impact of disasters mm -hmm. with Yuko Murayama, Vice President of the International Federation of Information Processing, IFIP. Yuko, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. I'm delighted to be here to talk about uh, what I'm most interested in. And you have been working uh, on a solution to help uh, better manage disasters. Yes. And that's yes. after the tsunami in Japan yes. of 2011, which cost yes. the lives of many, many people. So tell us about your solution. Yes. Actually, uh, at that time, I was working in that area in, for the university. And uh, after the disaster, we tried and helped the disaster area. And what we found out, there was actually no information systems or tools you expect uh, to help out the emergency response and the rescue and the shelter management, all that we needed in the first three months. So what happens is that uh, in one shelter, which needs uh, uh, water, get a blanket, and another shelter, which needs a uh, uh, blanket, get water. So we need uh, some uh, good coordinating uh, system to what is required, what we should provide, and that sort of thing. And there was a system actually in, uh, uh, created in uh, Sri Lanka uh, at the uh, Indochina uh, tsunami uh, several years ago back, but uh, it wasn't uh, quite used. The ha what happened was uh, uh, all the system was uh, 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 in described in English, but the most helpers in uh, disaster er uh, area in Japan are Japanese local government officers. They don't they don't quite uh, use English for communication, so uh, one has to translate and. Uh, one day I was asked to implement the, those information systems in three, year, uh, three days, but it was uh, almost possible. And uh, some other uh, industry people created this system, but it took one month. And uh, this uh, shelter is closed in three months, so it wasn't actually quite in use. So I found this uh, 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 information systems or uh, tools to help out the disaster management is really required. So we set up a domain committee in IFIP to look at this area of research and development. And you were here obviously to present your work. How yes. What was the response to it? Uh, last year we had uh, this uh, workshop and uh, uh, we had uh, so many uh, 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 questions from uh, mostly governmental people uh, from uh, uh, different countries. And this year, we are more uh, looking at the people. And uh, we found out uh, uh, one of the uh, participants, the panelists, uh, presented uh, they use uh, uh, FinTech, uh, blockchain technology, uh, for refugees to issue ID and uh, accounts to get the insurance and all that. So we found out really ID could help in one way or another. So we tried to find out are uh, this sort of uh, re real requirements and the real use in this area. And this shows what happens here at WISIS Forum. It's all about collaboration yes. and, and learning from each other and exactly. actually uh, enhancing your solutions through the contact you have with other people. Yes. It's important to, to yes. attend for that reason, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Uh, disaster management and the use of the ID for disaster management is often categorized in SDG 11, which is the sustainable uh, cities and communities. But actually, at disaster, people will lose uh, uh, their normal life of living and all that. So it's a kind of human right problem as, as well. So uh, it's related uh, uh, all the, uh, to all the SDGs, not only SDG 11. So uh, uh, I'm interested in the, this UCIS because you are talking about all the SDGs and uh, disaster is really a problem with uh, so involving so many uh, all the SDGs. So uh, I'm very excited to talking to people about uh, in uh, different aspects. Yuko Murayama, thank you very much. Thank you.